Welcome to How to Build a PLN. PLNs are not new, but they're easier than ever to set up. This video is going to show you in three simple steps what a PLN is, what you need to think about when building your own, and what tools you need to get started. So, what exactly is this PLN? You might have heard them called a professional learning network. You may also have heard of it being called a personal learning network. It doesn't really matter what the name is, the important bit is the learning network. Here's some background. The central idea behind a PLN is that a student both learns and contributes to their network. It's a two-way process. Students in a PLN have various ways of connecting with their network, usually digitally, but it doesn't have to be. Likewise, people in a PLN might know each other, but it's quite possible too that they will never meet in person. It's also quite natural that some connections or nodes in a PLN will be more important to a student than others. The only fundamental thing is that when students connect to a PLN they expect learning to happen both their own learning and for people on their network. PLNs are already very well established in the teaching community but teachers are not the only ones creating PLNs. Developers, designers, programmers and many other professionals are catching up too. They often just call it by its old name a network. Getting started with a PLN is quick and simple. There are some important questions that you should ask yourself. What can I offer? Remember, it's a two-way process, so as well as going to your PLN in order to learn, you should also think about what you're going to offer it. Things people typically share are insight into their industry and its new directions, offering second opinions in discussions and online debates, as well as knowledge, ideas, and any other expertise you may have. If you share these, you'll ensure that you quickly become a valuable member of your PLN, and the more you're valued, the more your network will want to help you. The next question to consider is, what will you learn? Now, if for example you are a mega technical mechanical engineer with a PhD speciality in district cooling systems, it's unlikely that you'll find many people in your PLN with a higher level of knowledge than your own. You are, however, likely to find other engineers who will share their specialized knowledge. You'll also find musicians, linguists, artists, and all sorts of people who are happy to share their knowledge. The question you should really be asking is, what do you want to learn? So, finally, let's think about the tools we need to start our own PLN. It's worth remembering that a PLN is not one single thing, but rather a collection of different groups, websites, social networks and conversations that you bring together to help you learn about the things you're interested in. This list then is just a suggested starting place. Google Reader will help you to stay up to date with the web. Google Plus already has lots of people using it to organize their learning into different nodes or circles. There are heaps of different blogs out there with loads of expert and inexpert opinion. And that two-way thing we discussed earlier? Yep, why not start a blog and share some of your knowledge. Twitter is probably one of the most popular and powerful PLN tools. It's quick to set up, quick to find people with similar interests, quick to connect to them, and with just 140 characters in which to share knowledge, it's blooming quick to read too. Twitter is much, much more than what I had for breakfast. Finally, an honourable mention should go to Facebook. If you filter past the games and drudge, it has hundreds of support groups and networks of professionals, some of which are very active and share a lot. The last tool, and certainly the most important one though, is you. You don't have to use any of the other tools. Just sitting down with a colleague and sharing knowledge is the start of a PLM. It's your enthusiasm, energy and hunger to learn that will make or break your network. So, those important nodes we were talking about earlier? Let's try to get as many of them to be useful, interesting and valuable as possible, starting with you and me. Personal, professional, whatever. It's our network.